guys, welcome to Harrisburg High School. Uh, this is the Mr. James's classroom, Ag room. We'll start in here. Summer vacation starting early. We're just starting the cleanup process. The janitor's coming to the floor, so normally I have a projector. My desk will be full of stuff. We have more stuff out. A um, couple things. First, <clears throat> it's in a funding grant. This year we bought uh, two 42 inch TVs, one from my room, one from Ms. Ellis' room. It's got chrome bits. Uh, they're smart TVs. Thank uh, shout out to Kareem Batterman for the uh, help on getting that set up, getting everything purchased right. Um, the other cool thing we have in here is this room has uh, a back, what we call it back room. Uh, we use this like as a conference room. We have officer meetings in here. Uh, kids can work on projects. It is kind of a catch all, a little bit of a mess. Um, came with some built in cabinet storage shelves. And we keep, I keep all my resources. Back here. All right. uh, the other thing, again, it's kind of messed up. We got a year-long calendar, so we put every event on there. Um, if you're a land survey nut, we found this old uh, county plat map for the whole county. We're not sure the exact date, but probably the 50s. And it's nice when we teach survey and we go out and we show people, you know, this is what Slane County used. Built in the summer of 2016 is about 
110 feet long, 48 feet wide. The first thing we'll show you is uh, our safety glass storage here. Robbed this old, uh, kept it from the old shop. Did build these nice cubby holes uh, so we can keep all of our glasses. Kids come in, then grab a pair of glasses on their way out. They put the glasses up. I can check emails, whatever, if I have a few things I need to get done uh, during class while kids are working on projects and we can look up project ideas. Uh, we have that ability right here. Uh, new air compressor we put in, we plunge it all the way around over to our plasma cutters. Uh, storage is a big thing. What we did when they did our storage model, I stole some shelves out of the library. We built these front faces, cut some plywood for doors, um, but it works good just to uh, keep everything hidden away. We can lock it up if we need to. Clamp storage. I didn't build this, but it's just pretty simple two by fours. Uh, you hang clamps on. I've got it full. So I added another just a two by four screw straight to the wall, hang clamps on that. We're still working on eventually this cabinet will be storage for nuts, bolts, screws, that kind of stuff. Um, a couple things, you know, we do not have a full scale dust collection system installed. We have two of these nice portable ones uh, with hoses and attachments so I can move them. This one we pretty well keep hooked up to the table saw. This one will hook to the planer, the joiner. Uh, we got the set up and hook it up to this one. Um, nice drill press is a good thing to have. I got this nice big 12 inch DeWalt miter saw. It actually has a light on it instead of a laser. And so when you go to cut and you bring your blade down, it actually gives a shadow of the blade. So you always know where the blade's going to cut instead of the laser maybe getting bumped off. That can happen on another one. Uh, table saw, come around here, I'll show you. Uh, we got Probably in 2014, 2015, we bought the saw stop table saw. Um, it's got the protection, uh, you stick your finger in it, the blade break works. Uh, don't cheap out on the table saw, get a nice big saw. Uh, it's great for the stuff we do. Uh, it's not wobbly, it's sturdy. We can put dado stacks in there, make cabinets, that kind of stuff. Um, and right over here behind you, this is a great the funding or investment. I think this thing costs 1200 bucks, um, but it's called a panel saw. Uh, you'll see them a lot of times like the Lowe's or Home Depot, but all it is is a circular saw on track. So you slide a whole sheet of plywood in here, just slide down and cut it. It'll also rotate 90 degrees. You can lock it in place and then feed full sheets of plywood through and maybe just cut six inches off. Um, great for ripping long stock. Um, you can get nicer ones, you can get bigger ones, but this one, $1,200, it's worked great for us. Um, a couple of storage things down here, we just brought off. Uh, these cabinets actually originally were in my classroom. Uh, these came out of the home ec room. Uh, we got them labeled, you know, tape measures, drills, impacts. Uh, I took an existing shelf build these out of scrap plywood, little slots, so we can just hang everything up. I'm going to use the space down here, uh, keep our drill bits, uh, chucks, that kind of stuff. Like I said, we're still working on the storage for um, screws and everything. As far as hammers and screwdrivers go, our screwdrivers are a mess, but we had this thing that already had notches cut in it, so we just screwed it to two by four, screwed the two by four in. That's great. Hang hammers up in there, they're not just in a pile laying in a cabinet or on the floor or something. These two machines, uh, this is a planer, this is a joiner. Uh, we, they're both uh, you know, obviously the same brand of power matic. That one's called a helixical head. 
instead of just having like three straight planer knives, three straight joiner knives, they have a bunch of um, little bitty squares. And if you come over here, you can see them. So these squares, there's a blade on all four sides. So you just, uh, just a Torx bit, unscrew that, and you can rotate every one of them 90 degrees and have all new blades. If you get a nick, a chip or something in one, you can just turn it. Um, it's a lot easier than trying to line up planer blades, get planer blades sharpened. Uh, it's the only way to go if you're buying it. If you got the money, get a nice planer. We did get last year put in this new uh, Lincoln push pull filter, the filtration system. What it does is it sucks air in, cleans it, and then recirculates it back into the building. Uh, so it ventilates, but it's a little bit of a process. You don't have the problem with uh, pressure issues that you can get with some of Last booth, we got set up with the plasma cutting. We'll do some oxygen cellular cutting. Uh, we keep a MIG welder back here. We don't do a lot of MIG welding, but we have one if we need it. Uh, another $600 incentive funding grant purchase, the Evolution Saw. Uh, great for cutting metal. Uh, doesn't get hot like a chop saw would. Um, you don't have to worry about the consumables of a plasma cutter or keeping your tanks or kids leaving a tank on. But this is a nice machine to have. Thank you.